Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to show you a video on how to use Microsoft PowerPoint 2011. I know that it was a bit complicated for me to learn how, so I figured everyone else would find it a bit complicated. So right here, when you first open up PowerPoint, I'll go ahead and exit that, and I'll show you from the beginning. You click on PowerPoint, and um, you go up here, File, and uh, New from Template. Exit out that one. And pretty much right here, all, that, all it's going to do is give you a whole bunch of templates that you can choose from. Template is um, the type of style you're going to be using for your Microsoft PowerPoint. What you can do is you can search online, like um, anything you want. Would just be uh, see this is an online one. It's a uh, untitled uh, United F Future Design Template. I don't know what that is, but you can just type in anything you want. You can go back in here all. Now, for example, I'm going to use my favorite one is Sky because it's happy and now what you do is um, so let's say if you want to add in photos you would go into add picture but if you want to make it full screen you just go down here not this one but I don't know why it's doing that click full screen something's going on here but alright whatever that, that's your full screen thing now what you're going to do is to insert a picture you go here and don't go to photo browser, go to picture from file. So this way you have all of your options from right over here. Go down to the photos and you can choose any photo that you would like to put in there. For example, some leaves. Go like this. It's going to show it's going to be the full size of this right here. But now what you do is you come down here and right here would be the rest of your title page. Now to put a new slide in, you're going to go back here to home. And you're going to click on new slide. New slide is just um this is your title page slide. It's gonna be a bit different from all your other ones. And you're gonna make in here your main title. You're gonna type in leaf project. And then you type in whatever you need to type in. Your font size is is over here. The font size is the type the size of um uh the size of the letters you're using to make them go bigger or smaller. You can insert media. Like um, movies, it, media is just the movies or an audio. You go from movies from file, and you can choose. Let's say I can choose. I have a digging competition in here, but you just click, drag, and it's there. Um, right over here is themes you can pick, but you've already got your theme. Tables for here for like calendars or anything else you would need. Your charts, um, like uh, bar graphs and uh, scatter graphs line graphs, pyramid graphs, everything you need and um, but first you have to choose uh, 3D surface but first what you need to do is you need to make it in Microsoft Excel which you will have to have Microsoft Excel is how you make your first thing let's see category 1 now I can just save this if it'll work, please work I drag down. Now I have. Oh, it's not working. But all you do is you make your chart there first, and now it's here. See what you're gonna want to do now? Is move it. Get a bit smaller, and it's all right there. See what you what, what you gotta do first is name everything. I didn't name anything. You don't even have to save anything. You just now now that you have your Excel open. Now you just all you have to do is just just exit it. See, if I exit it, then it'll all show up. You don't have to, you don't have to save anything, click or drag. You just, that's all you gotta do is just exit the program. Um, you gotta click on that now. Smart art is something you wanna do for um, like bubbles. If you wanna arrows, uh, pie charts, pie graphs, whatever you wanna do. List, grocery list, um, timeline, uh, even a family tree if you wanna do that. Right here, uh, this would be like a timeline photo, 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 description, description, description. So basically, this is well, all this is is showing a time period in progress you have done, and that's what smart art would be. Your format would be your type of lettering, then what kind you want to do. Transitions would be um, like how you transit from your first slide to your next. So, from this one, to get into that, I'm gonna make it a push slide, and then from this one, I'm gonna make it a swipe slide. Now if I go to animations, 
and you can make things have noises and um, everything you want it to do. See if I go like if I go into my slideshow, <clears throat> I can say from start. So it slides up. My next one slides over. Now when you go back and forth, normally it would just quickly switch, but now it does a fancy little sliding over thing. You press exit ESC to exit from your full screen slideshow and then your review. I'm not sure quite what that is yet, but I'm pretty sure it's just um, sending out things and pretty much emailing things. Now when you want to undo something, I go down here and I press undo, undo, and it gets rid of everything as you slowly press undo. So get rid of everything that you've put in before. And um, you can save the presentation, you can print it, you can open the presentation, you can click on here, new from template, and you can go back to other templates so you can have more than one PowerPoint open at once. Now it will not let you exit if you're on Mac, it will not let you exit without saving. And what you want to do when you, when you save is um, then leave, and you go to documents, and you want to save or you want to save. I'm not going to save it because I, I have no intent for this. I'm just going to go here, and plus, don't save. So anyways, um... Thanks for watching.